back again folks thanks for tuning in I told you all chibsons were not created equal remember me telling you that <laughs> this thing played like butter for a few days it's been probably I don't know a week or a week and a half maybe even two weeks since I got it playable again got it going now it's got some fret buzz down around the 18th 19th fret somewhere on the first string I think maybe first and second and then more fret buzz. Let's see, here's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I don't think it was that far. Let's do the high E. Here's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, Third, same thing. Fourth string on the fourteenth fret. There's fourth string on the thirteenth fret. It's okay. Fourteenth fret, it buzzes. Fifteenth, it's okay. The A string on the fourteenth uh, fret. Thirteenth fret. Fourteenth. Fifteenth. Uh, the low E on the 14th fret, 13th, that's okay. It's almost buzzing there. There's the 15th. And then uh, on down here, about the uh, 18th or 19th fret, it's buzzing on the first string. Maybe the second one too. Now I think, I think what happened was <clears throat> the humidity here has changed big time. We had all this hot weather and the humidity is like 100% all of the time. Right now it's 69% uh, on this one and 67 on that other one. So the humidity, humidity has dropped big time since I set this guitar up. And I'm wondering maybe if some frets didn't pop up here because they were, uh, you know, in, in, in sync. <laughs> I think the word I'm looking for in uniform I guess would be the word when I set the guitar up and I can't see it I'm gonna to have to find my visors I don't know where they are but I'm gonna find them and we're gonna have a really close look at that I might even take the macro lens uh, get it and put it on uh, if that's what it is and show you guys so let me go find the visors now I'll bring you back and we'll get down here and look at these frets I'm gonna inspect them first and if they have popped up I'll get you I'm gonna get you and uh, we will uh, I'll show it to you Hold on. So I had to uh, turn on a few more fans, though the humidity is down. It's a little bit warm in here than I thought it was. So you hear those fans kicking in there in a few minutes. I'll try to look at that with this glasses on. Uh, get it under the light here. Yeah, it does look like they're popped up. Turn that off. That that uh, amp, it's on one of those presets, a clean one, and it's noisy. I got the guitar turned all the way down right now. That's the amp is what you're hearing. All right, there's 12, 13, 14. There's 13, 14. It's a 14th fret. And it, uh, it does look like it's pulled up. This is going to be able to tell. I'll be able to tell the truth of the matter here, just shortly. I got to get in really close with these to get in focus. 12, 13, 14. Sure enough, it is pulled up. And then the one down here. Which one that was? It's 
the 19th fret. Seems to be only on the first string. up for sure both of them are so uh, before I can do anything to them I'll get the macro lens put the macro lens on that camera and I'll bring you over here and show you that the 14th fret and what did I say the other was the 19th yeah one little thing about fret buzz and I've got this in a bunch of other videos I've preached it <laughs> Say, say like this 14th fret. That's when I note the 14th fret, it was up here. There, yeah. That's the 14th fret you're hearing right there. But it's not the 14th fret that needs work, it's the 15th one. It's uh, the one, the next fret is too high. And that's why that does that. You know, a lot of people come down there and they like the 14th fret. It's got buzz. So they'll work on the 14th fret. I know luthiers that do that. It's not that fret, fret, folks. See, here's 12, 13, 14. That's the fret they would work on. Here's 15. 15 is the fret. It doesn't buzz, but it's the one that needs to work on. It needs to be taken down. Or in this case, beat in. <laughs> All right, let me uh, get the macro lens on the camera, and I'll try to get in. I don't know if I can get enough light in there to show you or not. I need to use a flashlight, maybe. And try to get you in there and show you what I'm talking about. I'm going. All right, just to give you some perspective. This is the way we're going to be looking at it. I'm going to try to bring the camera in at this angle. It's uh, this fret right here. 15 is indeed popped up. I don't know if I'll be able to show you this or not. Now, let me put the the uh, macro lens on check that out man very hard to hold still you know now <clears throat> that I get to looking at these really high magnitude see that looks like the end of that one's popped up too that's uh, number 14 but it didn't buzz I hope you can see that wow this is very hard to hold seal and down here the 20th fret and which one was it man I forgot I'm trying to look in trying to look in the camera at the same time yeah there you can see that one popped up maybe that one two frets up right there anyways I'm gonna take a hammer and tamp those and a, and a razor blade and try to get some of that dirt out from under there yeah you can see that I think where it's popped up on the end and not so much up here just on that end that's where it buzzed so let me clean that out on <clears throat> both sides a little bit and uh, I need a, some compressed air too let me go get the stuff and I'll bring you back with the regular wide angle lens and we'll See if we can tap that down. What was it? 15 and uh, 20, I think. Yeah. So, I'm just going to tap on a little bit and see what happens. Actually, I'm going to do it without that on to start with. This one right here. I can see that now, looking at it. Oh yeah, man, I could feel it, hear it. I could hear it change. I just want to go ahead and tap the entire thread. If you ever do this, I've said this before, if you ever do this, you know, don't take a ball peen hammer or a, a nail hammer and just start beating the shit out of it. You ought to do that, man. If you got a press, that's even better. Well, I don't know. I don't like presses better myself. It looks to me like it's popped up a little bit up in here, too. And 
Now I want to have a good close look at that. Now it's popped up on this end. I'm going to have to glue that puppy in there I think. No, that's it. That's it. It's in, man. Now the other fret was number, uh, looks like it's this one right here. 15, 17, 19, yeah, 20. That is it. This one. So let me just gently tap it. In fact, I'm going to use the plastic end of That's all I need, really. It looks like it's maybe popped up up in the center, too. Ahead and oh, there's a piece of fuss came from somewhere. We'll go ahead and do it too. Headphone lovers are going to love me after today. <laughs> this fret looks like it's popped up a little bit. I'm just going to. Touch them a little bit and see what happens. Let's see what we did to 20. And it still looks like it's popped up. I don't know if that, maybe it might just be shadow that I'm seeing. Yeah, I think it was. Shadow from that light up there. Well, let's look at them all again. There's green stuff under under the frets. Didn't see that before because I didn't have this much power on before either. Yeah, they're seated now. All the way all the way across the entire fret so I guess the only thing left to do is uh, string, it back, string it back up these things are handy here you just you wrap them around your I don't know if you're seeing it or not wrap them around the neck that's what they're for pull the strings over and hold them out I used to use uh, I used to use needle nose pliers run them up over the neck this way from the bottom and then pull the strings over and the strings will hold the, the needle nose pliers up there and the pliers hold the strings out of the way then they made the piece I just showed you that disappeared here that it's the handiest thing in the world man you just need to do work with the strings on it all right I'm gonna tighten it up tune it up and uh, then I'll bring you back I'm not gonna hold you for all that I'll go ahead and do all that get everything out of the way here and uh, <clears throat> tune it up and we'll see if it plays or not one I had to work on. There's where it buzzed. It didn't buzz on these toppings, just on the first and second strings. And indeed they was popped up. I'll show you something else here. Boy, that ant's noisy. Why I've got you here. I didn't show this on the video where I set this thing up. I probably should have. But I didn't do it. Paper. Here's that diagram that came with the, the pots. There's a reason you can adjust this stop bar up and down. Okay, the reason is once you get everything set, you don't want your strings coming up over the bridge here and and touching the bridge. They're supposed to touch the saddle, not the bridge. I'd be able to do that. They screws all the way down in tight. 
and run the string up over it, you know, it should adjust it up so you can get a piece of paper between the string and where it hits the bridge. I don't know, maybe you can see that. And you should do it on every string. See there? None of the strings should rest on the uh, saddle it's, or the bridge itself. Only on the saddle. Let me get this one in there and look at the camera and see if you guys can even see it or not. Yeah, I think you can. So, you know, back in here is what I'm talking about. You know, where the string comes up, it should come up not touch the bridge and go over the saddles touching the saddles only a lot of people don't know that that's why you have these adjustments <laughs> that's what they're for all right let's uh see if it'll play <laughs> again uh, if someone can play it it will you know I meant to polish uh, wipe those frets down good while I had the strings pulled back and I forgot <laughs> but uh, it's fixed a lot of tune but it's fixed I was jamming through that uh, I always forget what that is Yamaha I think Fender I always want to call it Yamaha it's a Fender G-DEC G deck amp and it's got tracks built into it you can jam with, that's what that was. And then different tracks, uh, presets that you can select for your guitar. I probably should have selected one that was a little bit louder than the one I had. I don't know how to get to bring the guitar up or the music down to, you know, to mix it. I'm sure there's a way to do it, I just haven't looked into it yet. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, now I can play this thing. I, just, I hadn't been playing it since I tried to play it in there a couple days and then frets were all out of whack. And that's what it was. The humidity is showing, let's see, indoor humidity is 69 on that one right now. And uh, 67 on this one. And they were showing up in the 90s all the time, day and night. So, you know, by it dropping like that, I would say the fretboard dried some enough to allow those frets to pop up. And uh, that's what happens. <laughs> I may have to go back and put some CA glue under them, you know, and clamp them down, let the CA dry. If they pop up again, that's exactly what I will do. And uh, so, yeah, I might have to go in there and do that. Hopefully not, but we'll see. Time will tell, I guess. Anyway, cheers. Thanks for watching, guys and ladies, and I'll see you on the next video.